Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a very simple box frame coffee table with an integrated lift top. I'm going to start this project by cutting out all of the boards. I'm using a chop saw that's fixed on my table, but you could also use a circular saw or even a jigsaw. You want to make sure you're using nice straight boards and I'm getting nice straight cuts. The overall quality of your project is going to be highly dependent on how good your cuts are. So there's all my cuts. No need to write it down. I will have a cut list for you in the plans. I'm going to use these screws for assembly. If you have a pocket hole jig, I definitely recommend using that over this method. It'll produce just such a nicer product and be easier to assemble. But I want to make this project as accessible to as many people as possible. So I'm showing you how to build it with just a drill and these self-tapping screws. At every joint, make sure you use glue and I use two screws per joint. I didn't find that I had trouble with any splitting. Um, if you do have trouble splitting, maybe try pre-drilling or um, using a smaller screw. So you just build two of the frames that are identical and these are for the ends and then just tie them together with the longer aprons. So these two by twos are just furring strips. They're about $2 a piece. They're readily available. They're not the nicest material. What I'll do is buy a couple extras and then kind of be picky about what I cut and use and um, discard you know, pieces with lots of cracks or really big knots in it or you know, if anything's warped or twisted. You'll notice on this leg, there's some markings on it. I'll always try to put that on the outside where it's easy to sand off rather than putting it on the inside where it's hard to fix. Okay, so that base is done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in those screw holes um, and get it ready to finish. All right, while um, the base is drying, I'm gonna start working on the top. Now, after I did this project, I thought it would have been smarter just to lay all four of the one by six tabletop boards down and then set the base down upside down on top of it and then kind of place my hardware underneath it. I'll outline all of this in the plans. Um, I think that would be a better way to go and a lot easier. The way that I'm doing it here, was a little bit frustrating and um, it actually took me a couple of different tries to get everything just right. So if you have a pocket hole jig, I highly recommend attaching those one by six boards together first. But if you don't, you can use a one by two, one by three, or a scrap piece of plywood like I'm doing and some glue and some one and a quarter inch nails or screws to attach it. This also gives you an attachment point for the hardware. The hardware I'm using, I ordered online. It was about $16 and um, it's pretty easy to install and it worked just fine. And then the hardware has these holes in it where you can fit your drill in and screw it to, um, from two different directions. So this is what, um, after a couple of tries and getting it just right, that's what it looked like for um, attaching it to the top. And again, I'm gonna outline this all in more detail in the plans, so um, you can just head on over there and download the plan and it'll give you very clear instructions on how to do this just right. Okay. So once I got the top on and then I fit it and it was working good, I took it off because I want to do like a two-tone and stain them separately. So the top, I'm using a golden oak color. It's a really nice neutral brown. I'm just gonna go ahead and stain those boards up. And the base, I painted a black color. And um, now I'm gonna put it all together and get it all to work and fine tune it. So this is really important. 
that fourth board you want to put it on so um, with lots of glue and so it squares up your coffee table because if your coffee table frame is out of square then those lift top hinges aren't going to open and close just right all right the coffee table is all done and it's working amazing so you just pull it up like that and one thing is is i feel like it's a little bit lightweight so as you pull up on it the coffee table almost wants to pick up on the floor there I don't mind it so much for its purposes, but I'm also going to include in the plans the opportunity to add a bottom shelf, which will increase the weight of it, increase the functionality of it, take away that issue, but it's also going to increase the cost. So there's always a trade-off. The other thing I include in this plan, because I love this coffee table so much, I'm going to put the plans in it for the X detail because I think that would really add to the look, add some weight on the coffee tables, and add some structure to it because this is such a great project, so useful. If there's a little thing like that that you can do to it to make it that much nicer, uh, I'm gonna help you out with that. So thanks so much for watching. The plans are linked in the description below. Please share if you build it, and we'll see you next week. That's a nice dinosaur, Hayes. Nice. Oh, a giraffe. Giraffe. Oh, that's a nice giraffe. Nice giraffe.